the eighth video is about the stage. We will place a terrain game object, design the maze, place the gates, we will model mountains and apply textures. From now on, you can test the latest build of a project direct from my website, in the section My First Game in Unity. Clicking on the image, the project will begin to load. If you are interested in this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos and news. I started very recently, but I'm working hard to improve my material. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。The textures to use in this video are available on the website. Link in the description. I'm going to remove all the elements from the scenario and create a terrain. This game object is based on grayscale high maps to create reliefs. Let's go to the gear icon and set the resolution of the terrain to 1000 by 1000. Select each normal map of the textures we import. In the inspector, set the type of texture as normal map and apply the changes. Select again the terrain and in the inspector, click on the icon of the brush. Then edit textures, add texture. Now we have to select the albedo map and the normal map. We can also set the tiling. For the texture ground 1, the tiling will be 3x3, three three. for ground 2, 7x7, seven seven. for mountains 1, 20x20, 20 20, and for mountains 2, 30x30. 30 30. Inside the game object stage, we are going to create an empty object to start assembling the maze. I drag each of the prefabs and place them as children of that game object. I'm duplicating and placing the pieces until I find a shape. Once the shape is defined, I arrange the pieces more carefully trying to make them fit into the joints. We are not going to worry too much about the details and imperfections. For now, I'm interested in having a rough maze model. Later, we'll fix the details, probably using new models to cover the joints. I'm going to place four gates. Remember that it has to be the brief out of the gate that has the spawn point as a child. I walk around the stage to see that everything is in order. I found a model that seems to have a bad UV map and one of the gates wasn't placed correctly. Now let's create some mountains. Select the terrain prefab. Click on the first button that is to raise and lower the height. We choose a brush and start painting. In my case, I'm going to create some very high mountains in the opposite side of the sun. Using the different brushes, sizes, opacity and patience, you can shape a large number of terrains. The second button is to give a certain height to the ground, and the third to smooth the surfaces.
Once we have the terrain, we will ablate the textures. Click on the fourth button. We choose the type of the brush, the texture, set the parameters, and we start painting the terrain. What I'm going to do is just paint spots with the textures ground 2 to try to break the pattern of the texture ground 1, set by default. For the mountains, I'm going to use the earth texture as a base and then apply the rock texture. When we are happy with the result, we make a build, and that's it for this video. I would like to remember that from this video, the most recent build will be available for testing on my website, in the section My First Game in Unity. In the next video, we'll focus on the object the player must find before time runs out.